small video. It's very windy. I'm at Minehead and I've just started on the coastal path on the seafront. I got the train from Watchet to Minehead. It took about 40 minutes, half an hour, something like that. And um, it's only about 20 past 11, so I've got plenty of time. I mean, I had thought about wandering around Minehead, but the thing is, by the time I've done that, I could wear myself out. So I thought it's very important for me just to do the walk. And I've just noticed you can, you can park up here, look. If you want to do it the other way, there's lots of parking along the seafront here. Yeah, I do want to actually explore Minehead itself as well. Steep home right in the very distance. Well, now I'll just zoom in. Where is it? There we are, right in the distance. A different angle, obviously, from Western Supermare. Just a small video to start. It's very windy, so I think it might... And there's lots of sand blowing around. A bit worried about the camera. I mean, they did say it might rain, might have showers. There were some earlier, but it seems to have cleared. And of course, we've got Butlins over there. That's Butlins over there. I can see the campsite, if I, the Car Caravan Camping Club, right up on the hill there. And that's where you, up that way, is where you start the, um, the proper coastal walk which is a very well designated label walk, that one, to go into Devon. So you've got that. I had to ask several people, by the way, before I could um, find where the path led. But I want to have a look, the, when I get to the other end, I do want to spend some time looking around and watch it anyway. So, they've written two and a half hours, but knowing me, it'd be double that because I like to take my time. It should be signposted soon. There is a bit of a golf course. And uh, she said, just keep following this and then you'll see it. You'll see the path. Over and out for now. So we just look back first. My rucksack's very heavy. I've got to carry a top and um, umbrella. I'll come back on later. Right, brief video. Meeting another retired people like myself, just enjoying the freedom. Just enjoying the freedom of being here. I mean, to be quite honest, it's very, very empty. You wouldn't think it was the summer holidays, you know. I and mean, then what I'm going to do is come to Minehead on a separate occasion, then I can come down and examine all these rocks and pebbles and things. It's a different mission. Today it's um, not a march. It is not a march. But it is... Um, I've got to get to A to B. I haven't done it before. Now there's a fossil there, look. See? It's a fossil. Yeah, there will be fossils everywhere. Everywhere you look, there'll be fossils. Well, that's a bit too big to carry. I don't really want any more weight. Yeah, see? I just have to take a picture of this one. Just to put it on the video. If I see a small one, that's okay. But I bet this is only the start of the walk at the moment. There's no way I can start collecting fossils at this stage. <sighs> this fossil. I, do you know what? Years ago, when I had some dogs and when I was working, I used to take my dogs out on a golf course when the golfers weren't about. 
And I was already a hunter-gatherer then. I used to collect golf balls. It had to be good ones, though. Pro Vs. But now, you know, my direction is... The hunter and gatherer thing is still there. At least I've got the wind behind me. So we've got quite a long way to go. I'm looking forward to it. I've just seen quite a bit of it on the when I was on the train. So I'm glad I've done this coast because someone said you could pick up and follow the train next to the train line. I thought, oh no. But of course this could be wild. This could be wild. There's hardly anyone here. It's summer holidays, look. I bet it was different yesterday when it was at the baking hot though and no wind. The weather's on the turn. We're supposed to be having um rain and wind cooler. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky, see? Um, do I stay up? This is where they don't always explain. Do I stay up here? Do I go back down on that path? I'm going to do a bit of both at the moment because you can still get down on it, look. I'm going to do a bit of both. Otherwise you're not really going to see anything. Look at the beautiful area all around though. Isn't it lovely? Over and out, everyone. Right, a bit more videoing. The wind's behind, so you should be able to hear me. So here we've got the course. Looking back now, you can walk along the beach if you wanted to. Um, I've always, I don't mind being up here because you get a different view. Loads and loads of fossils in there. That's a different thing, fossil hunting, isn't it? I, I've got to go back to Kilvia. <laughs> All these walks really are what I call reques. Um, and right out there is Hinkley Point. I'll just zoom in a minute. There's Hinkley Point there. Then you'll have like Listock and Kilv. There's Hinkley Point. And if you come along the coast, you'll have Listock Beach, Kilve Beach, East Quantock Head, West Quantock Head, St Audrey's Bay, all that. I've been very fortunate that the weather is... I'm keeping my fingers crossed, the weather is behaving. I'm up high. You can, like I say, you can walk on the beach if you want to. Which is quite good for the bikers, I think, as well. Certain parts of the coast you can do on a bike. Dunster Castle will be in those woods over there. I took some pictures of it, a video when it was on the train. So I've actually got my train journey, videoing and images. Me sat inside the carriage, um, taking pictures of various stations that we stopped at, like Washford, Dunster... Um, and then of course mine head and I could see people on this path when I was on the train over there if I just zoom in there'll be a, some green carriages and that's the station for Dunster <coughs> where you can go <coughs> you can pick up a walk to Dunster and Minehead which is probably joins this walk here So there we have some carriages there, and behind there will be Dunster Railway. It's quite blue, there's quite a bit of blue sky. I've got spare clothes in the van, just in case, and shoes and socks. I forgot to leave some of my picnic behind, so I've got actually a massive amount of food in my bag. I've got two bo big bottles of water, but fortunately, this is good to walk in this. There's a lovely, lovely cool breeze coming up behind, so I'm not facing the wind. 
Um, they say the weather's going to change tomorrow. So this was... I chose the right day. To be quite honest, I chose the right day. And I quite like being up here, actually. You can look down. You can see both sides. The old fossil here and there. Just zoom in on one now, I can see. Down there somewhere. big one. There will be lots and lots of fossils there. That's a different mission, like I said, that's a different mission. If one happens to turn up, when I do do a bit of beach later. So like I said, my rucksack as usual is very heavy. I've got my walking, but I decided when I got to watch it to put my walking boots and uh, trousers on. I've got a windshield and an umbrella. You see, say it, just like, put it this way, say it was a suddenly really downpour now. You, I could actually walk to Dunster and get the train from there but to watch it. And that cost, just for that journey, it cost me 10 quid. It's quite expensive. But I don't mind because it goes towards maintaining the steam engines. Right, over and out for a minute.